The Center for Advanced Ceramic Technology is an Empire State Development, NYSTAR funded uh, unit within the New York State College of Ceramics at Alfred University. All of those NYSTAR funded units' goal is to speed up technology transfer from universities and academic research into the marketplace in order to enhance New York State economic development. Our Center for Advanced Ceramic Technology focuses on Alfred University and the New York State College of Ceramics' core strengths in ceramic and glass technologies and science. Specifically, our focus areas and expertise of our faculty and researchers is on characterization of materials and processing of those materials and the fundamental research behind ceramic and glass technologies. Our labs are uniquely equipped to characterize materials from powders, starting with powder characterization, up through processing and forming, into sintering and densification, and final properties after creating a sintered and densified part, such as physical and mechanical properties, even to extremely high temperatures. Here at the Center for Advanced Ceramic Technology, we've worked on all materials, ranging from traditional ceramics, such as porcelains, which are industrially important, to advanced ceramics such as silicon carbide for armor applications, zirconia for hip replacement joints, and other materials such as biomaterials and electronic materials here at Alfred. Sometimes you, when you're working with a client, you're not sure what the next test will need to be, and having all the equipment available for us to do the testing streamlines that process. So if I need to do a new test, if I was somewhere else, I'd have to go find that test to get it done. Here I can do it in-house. Here in the CAT at Alfred University, we have two suites of instrumentation. We have the high temperature materials characterization tools, and then we also have high temperature materials properties measurement capability. And, and we team those together. When we team those two together, we're able to look at fundamentally how to invent, develop new materials, but we also can learn in a really efficient way how to manufacture those materials or how to scale them up. So X-ray diffraction or even more generally X-ray scattering is used to tell how atoms fit together in materials. And so with that knowledge of how atoms fit together we can do two things. We can figure out why materials work the way they do and then we can also figure out how to make them. Spectrometers are a little different. They allow us to look in a very local scale of atom to atom and so that allows us to do something really interesting which is to look at glasses as well as ceramics and so we have a really long history here in Alfred in glass science and studies of glass. We can do these experiments at high temperature, we can do them under controlled gas atmosphere, we can do them with controlled electric field, magnetic field, etc. Our Center for Advanced Ceramic Technology here at Alfred University is really a conduit for our students and our faculty and our research staff to be able to partner very directly with industry to help them with their research needs. Sex and glass technologies chemically strengthens glass products. The primary product that we produce is the chemically strengthened glass cartridge in EpiPens. The other business products are centrifuge tubes, chemically strengthened to take high spins, and flat glass covers, uh, which can go into the cell phone devices. We have used Alfred University's high energy electron beam equipment, the x-ray equipment, the mechanical testing equipment, and optical biofringence equipment to control the quality of the product that goes out of here. Foster Rush is a consulting company that specializes in electronics, nanotechnology, and clean tech. We also are involved in the design and manufacturing of custom process and test equipment. The ceramic materials that we're working with are dielectric and piezoelectric materials as well as low temperature co-fired ceramics. The advantages of an industry academic partnership like CACT is our ability to access state-of-the-art manufacturing equipment and the expertise of faculty at a very reasonable cost without the capital expenditure that we would incur as a small company. In addition, we have exposure to students that could potentially be employees of not only our own company, but also our customers. The future is very exciting in the space of ceramics, glass, and engineering in general. 
Of course, computer and data analytics are becoming a huge part of that space as well. So understanding material informatics and how those can inform our research in the ceramics and material science space will be a huge part of the future direction uh, that the industry will be going and that our students need to be equipped as they enter the workforce.